Hi, I'm Corinna. Corinna specializes in one-on-one -on -one support and is now a QA engineer on the Autodesk Fusion team. Or the title and the question. Okay. I am confused by files, links, and components. I am struggling with how to organize all of my stuff. As an example, let's say I'm building a bicycle. Should I be saving each individual part as its own file? I have been creating new parts as a single component, so I have multiple bodies. I'm assuming this is not the right way to do it. I see that parts can be created as a component, then saved as their own file. How can I import this to a new project without modifying the original part? So this is a very common question and it's kind of a tricky thing in Fusion is something is knowing the difference between bodies and components and then also how to work between the two of them. The way to kind of think about it is a body is a part that might be a part of another part and a component is something that might have motion or it kind of joins to another piece is kind of how I think about it. When we say component, that might mean an internal component within one file, but it could also mean a component that is a separate file that can then be inserted or utilized anywhere else in a different file. Usually it's referred to as either internal or external component. So I have a couple examples to show how you might do that. This is one of the samples. This is sort of the classic way of designing a Fusion part where you have one assembly file and then within each of those you have a linked component. See this little link here? that is actually a separate file in the data panel too. So if I wanted to edit this lower chamber, for example, I could right click on it and go in and open that file. Or if I wanted to, at this point, I can also use edit in place to edit that component and make changes here. So if I make a change here, I'll just toggle visibility, turn something off and on, finish it. Now when I save, it's going to save both that top level design and this design here. Let's say that I've designed a part here and I'm ready to use this in assembly or I want to start building off of it. The way I have it built right now is it's just one body within this top level design here. In a pinch, you can convert your body into a component. So you can do the things that you would want to do with a component with just your body. Um, that is, is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, but if you want to use it in a separate design and kind of organize it nicely, you can create a new design and then if you right click on it in the data panel and select insert, that will populate it as an XREF or as an inserted component. And you'll get all those same tools like edit in place. Um, and then you can go in and open it and things like that. Um, you can also, something that's really handy is you can break the link once that part is in your assembly. And you see, I'll do that again one more time. When you break the link, it turns that timeline uh, feature into the features that were in that design. So if you ever kind of get stuck and you feel like you don't want that reference to be exist anymore, you can break the link. A couple other ways to create references between designs. So under the insert dropdown, you'll see insert component, which does the same thing as that right click insert, or you can do insert derive. The difference between derive and uh, insert is that the insert or XREF, you can't make a change to it once it's populated in your assembly, except for editing the original. So that might be through edit in place or by opening it and then editing it. But derive, what will, that will do is it'll bring in basically a copy that has kind of some ties back to the original. So if I derive in, I'll select this top component once I put that in there. Now I can start making changes to it as if it were a component that lives within my design. So like I can fill it this edge here like that and then save it. And then in this case, if I change the geometry of my original, like say I added an extrude here and save it. In this case, you can update the reference and you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the original design change and you get the changes that are in your assembly. One huge benefit of doing what, what we just described, which is a distributed assembly where you have 
designs that link to other designs, whether that's XREFs or derives, is that it's better for your performance in Fusion 2. For big assemblies especially, you want to have a distributed design and you'll see the performance improvements later. If you're always doing those little in a pinch moves, like creating components from body, like breaking out your design so that you're including a lot of information in one timeline, then you're going to start to see performance hit later. I would say the classic kind of fusion organization is usually assembly with the XREFs or the inserted components within them that kind of retain their own history and timeline. And then in some kind of special cases where you really want to make direct changes using derive to bring in some geometry and then internal components for stuff that you maybe you need some of those kind of reference points from that other geometry using internal components to kind of reference those other components.